Are LinkedIn hashtags even a thing? Yes, yes they are. Today I wanna to share with you a few reasons why hashtags are super beneficial for you to find your ideal clients and what you need to do exactly. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Lindsay Mitrosilis. I'm a LinkedIn coach, mentor, expert, and agency owner. Today I wanna to share with you three reasons why hashtags are super important for your business, how you can find your ideal clients using them, and what you need to do with hashtags in general on the platform. All right, so here's what you need to know about hashtags on LinkedIn. You have to understand in order to leverage hashtags to our benefit, we need to know our ideal clients first. So you have to understand what our ideal clients are searching for on LinkedIn through the lens of hashtags. So it's the first thing we need to know is who are our ideal clients, what are they most interested in, and then what hashtags are they likely following or looking up or searching. Now that you know that, now that you know kind of where your ideal clients hang out and what types of hashtags they're most interested in and following on LinkedIn, we wanna to start to really narrow down the hashtags that we ourselves are following. I say you wanna pick a variety, a range of those that have maybe 1,000 followers to 5,000 followers or 25,000 followers or even up to 250,000 followers. That range of followers for each hashtag will give you just a good sense of what people are up to, what people are posting with those hashtags, and who is responding to those. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is maybe it's not exactly the B to C, right? Like the person that you want to sell directly to on LinkedIn, but maybe it's more of that B to B mindset where who do you know or who can you connect with or get in front of where their audience is your ideal clients? So maybe you want to connect with other podcasters because you know that getting on their shows if you're in a particular niche or industry, will help get you access to their audience who are in fact your ideal clients. So maybe you need to be looking not directly for where your ideal customer hangs out, but where these other business people that you can partner with like podcasters would be hanging out. So maybe you're looking up hashtags that are more related to podcasters and then you're getting in it that way. Here are the three juicy tips I have for you on how to really leverage hashtags. They're not necessarily about putting them in your content. That's not ex entirely what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I want you to take a look at when you go into these hashtags, who is engaging on these posts? Who is commenting? Who is liking? You have access to all of that information on LinkedIn. So when you see who's liking these posts, when you see who's engaging or commenting on these posts, look and see if they are your ideal clients. Chances are you're gonna find a few of them in one post. Get in front of the traffic that already exists. This is the traffic that you're looking for. These are the ideal clients or audience that you know are gonna resonate with your content and probably buy from you in the long run. One tip for you there is to go connect and engage with those people. The easiest thing you can do when you make a connection with someone who's commenting or engaging on another person's post is you can just send them a quick message saying, hey, I saw that you like this post by Mary and I thought it was a great post as well. Or, hey, I saw you leave a really thoughtful, uh, engaging comment, or I saw you left a really awesome comment on so-and-so's post. I totally agree with you. We'd love to connect here. That is the warmest way that you can get in front of your ideal clients, sending them a connection message. My second tip for you on this is to leave other thoughtful, engaging comments on these other people's posts as well. So as you're looking through these hashtag feeds and you're seeing all types of different posts and content, you also can leave engaging comments on other people's posts. Now, maybe you feel like they're your competitors or whatever, but it doesn't matter. We want to make sure that we are also getting you seen by the people who are looking at these posts as well. So, so as as you're looking through these hashtag feeds and you're seeing all types of different posts and content, you also can leave engaging comments on other people's posts. Now, maybe you feel like they're your competitors or whatever, but it doesn't matter. We want to make sure that we are also getting you seen by the people who are looking at these posts as well. So leave a thoughtful, engaging comment on their posts too. My third tip for you is to connect and follow accordingly. Maybe through these hashtag feeds, you see someone who has a massive following of an audience you know is also your ideal audience and your ideal client. You wanna make sure you're keeping tabs on this person's content, what they're talking about, what's coming to the forefront of their mind. They might be able to give you some inspiration to connect and follow accordingly. Some people whose content you see in these hashtag feeds might be a great person for you to connect with and follow along anyway. Maybe their audience is also your ideal audience. Maybe you can learn from them. Maybe they're a mentor of yours. To evaluate that for yourself, but just keep that in the back of your mind. Could be 
someone that you partner with or you just really, really enjoy their content because it totally resonates with you too. If you enjoyed this video, please like below, subscribe to the channel and share this with any of your entrepreneur friends who are looking to leverage LinkedIn for more leads and sales.